hi youtube welcome back to my channel welcome to another video for those of you who are new here my name is janelle this is going to be a sit down video so guys do not go anywhere grab your water grab your smoothie grab your juice grab your tea whatever let's dive right into this I made a list so I don't forget a few things that I would tell my younger self I know at some point in life you know we all mess up we all do things that seem right at the time in the moment so I have a little list here of a few things I would tell my younger self so first on the list I have <laughs> do not be in a hurry to grow up do not be in a hurry to become an adult I think that is very important because childhood really frame the pathway for you um, as in the type of adult that you would grow up to be and it's very important that you live out your childhood fully as a child not taking on any adult responsibilities I think it's very very important that you live out those years you get the experience that you need those um those life lessons that you you would have to learn that would that you would need in adult life so i think it's very very important that you enjoy your childhood when you're a child you act as a child you speak as a child and you just wait <laughs> until you grow up because it will happen so i would tell my younger self do not be in a hurry to grow up to become an adult Second on my list, I have push myself more. And when I say push myself more, I mean, um, don't just stay there. Like when things get a little bit challenging or in my team's a little bit tough, don't just give up and just, and just stay there. That's never a good idea. It's always good to push yourself a little bit more. I'm not saying to just push yourself to the point where you fall into depression or anxiety or none of that unhealthy stuff, but just push yourself just a little bit more when it gets challenging. Okay, so three, I have let that man marry you first guys this is very important too to me i remember growing up i always used to say i'm not having a child out of wedlock don't get me wrong i love my son like my son is my everything i love my son but i think looking back you know what i would have done like in this, that situation while i'm dating i'm gonna make sure that this guy loves me he has me and he envisioned me in his future all the time in everything that he plans for the future like he have Janelle name in there I would have made sure of that and make sure that he's ready to take that next step which is I mean like some people some men they don't have a problem to get you pregnant but to to marry you and make it more you know just just seal the deal for you they don't want to do that so I would have gotten married first before you know i but I, but i love my son it didn't go that way and i'm satisfied now but moving on moving forward that's definitely the plan that's definitely the plan okay um i have pray harder i have pray harder because you you guys know god is everything god is the man god is our refuge our strength our guide our protect god is everything to us so sometimes when I'm faced with difficulties or I'm stuck, I tend to, to give up with prayer. Like I would pray, yes, but I don't think I go deep enough into prayer as I should. And pray, you know that, that, that phrase that some people say, pray until your situation changes, pray until something happens. That's what I need to do. That's what I'm trying to apply now in my life. But back then... I wasn't doing that and that's definitely what I'm applying to my life now another one do not look for love in the wrong places 
guilty i have been there i have done that and guys i'm telling you all this now because maybe this can help someone i'm 33 years old and i've learned a lot and i think all these can be beneficial to someone who is younger even someone my own age who is watching do not look for love in the wrong places i know sometimes we we want to be desired we want to be loved we we are looking for just that certain person to love us and then we might settle or we might find it in the wrong person and that caused us to make some wrong decisions some wrong choices it, it will hurt us in the long run it will definitely hurt us in the long run and we don't want that we want to avoid that so looking for love in all the wrong places i'll definitely talk to myself but um, this is something I, I definitely wish that i could have tell my younger self okay so moving on okay let's see eat healthier I would have definitely told myself to eat healthier. I really had some very poor eating habits when I was growing up, when I was younger, all the sweet. I'm a fruit person. I really do love fruit ever since I know myself. I love fruit up to this day, but I've also loved a lot of unhealthy food, like snacks. Like I would, I used to snack a lot. If I got a whole a bag of candy, trust me, i'm gonna eat all those candy and i'll stop when the last one is done so i'll definitely tell my younger self to eat healthier because you know that you you know um that thing that they say uh eat your food as medicine so that when you're older you won't have to eat your medicine as food we want to avoid that we are trying to we are trying to remain young and healthy vibrant for a very 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 long time all right guys another one ignore the negative people you know how that can be you know the weight that that can that can just have on us by just having negative people negative sayings in our ears you know you know the impact that can have on you and it's never, ever, ever, ever a good thing. And that's one thing I wish that I have known growing up because there's a lot of stuff that I got sucked into just because of certain people that I was around, that was in my environment, that I listened to. So definitely, definitely. Now I'm working on that. Now I'm good with that. Now I know how to ignore people. Now I know how to enjoy my own company. So if I'm alone, I'm still happy. I don't have to have a bunch of negative people around me or, you know, just to feel happy. I have my nice little circle, which I love them all and they know that. So I'm good like that. Okay. Make better choices. Oh. Guys, I've made, I've really made some poor choices growing up. I've really, really made some poor choices. Looking back, I don't want to say too much that I regret because i think that certain things has to happen for us to learn certain lessons in life and for us to um share be able to share certain advice with people but it's good that if you're faced with a decision it is good that you think about it you think of the consequences you think how it can affect you the people wrong you, how it can affect you long term. It's good to think of all these things, take all these into consideration. And then I have make better use of time. So you know time is something, as long as it's gone, it's gone. That's it, you can't get it back. So wasting time is a no-no. It's a big no-no. We don't wanna be wasting our time. We want to make better use of our time um probably you can make a schedule of how you want to go about your day-to-day -day, what you have for the day and you try to accomplish all those so that would leave less space for less opportunity for wasting time 
be comfortable with myself. I've gone through phases where I will look at myself in the mirror and I don't feel comfortable with the person staring back at me. I'll be very, very, very hard on myself. I'll criticize God, beautiful creation. Like that, I'm not doing that anymore. I now realize that, that, that God have made me wonderfully in his own image and I'm okay, I'm comfortable now with how I am. Growing up, I was not because I was really skinny. <laughs> I was really small, especially what used to bother me is when someone says, oh, you're really skinny. Like I know this, I live in this body, okay? So you don't have to remind me of how skinny I am because I know some people talk too much. You guys need to stop, cut these things out, okay? Because I can eat all day and I'll never gain over five pounds, I'm telling you. So now I am very confident and comfortable with the person that I am physically and internally. And I'm glad I've came a long way. Okay. So don't settle. Don't allow people to mistreat you. And that's very important too. As you can see guys, all these things that I'm naming out a good recipe for a good a good healthy adult life okay so don't settle don't allow people to mistreat you all right so you know yourself know what you deserve know when to recognize that someone is is being unfair to you or they're not treating you how you want to be treated they're not respecting your boundaries your values your morals and all of that so you have to let people know it's not okay. This is not okay. And you have to know when to move yourself from that situation, from those people, so that, you know, you don't feel that type of way. All right? So, um, see the next one. Surround myself with the right people. This kind of, um, I think I already covered this when I said um, avoid negative people. So surround yourself with the right people. People who can take you forward. People who can share with you to lift you up, lift your spirit up. Make you a better person. People who look out for you, who are there for you, who you can confide in, who you can talk to. Those are the type of people you want to surround yourself with. Don't make decisions too quickly. Guys, this is another one that I'll definitely tell myself. Because, you know, sometimes you're faced with a, a situation and then the first thing that comes to your mind is the first thing that you will do. I don't think that's the best way to go about dealing with a certain situation. It's best sometimes to sleep on it, give it time. Think about it, and then you can make your decision. Stay humble. Remain humble. Remain humble. Remain humble. Humble yourself. Don't think that, oh, well, I'm too good for that. I'm better than her, or I'm more than her. I'm more than him. I'm more than they are. No, you're not no you are not maybe material material things might make you feel like okay i'm better than her but trust me you're not better than anyone well i'm not <laughs> i'm not pointing fingers yet. pointing it to myself actually i'm not better than anyone i'm not trying to be better than anyone i do not want to be better than anyone i don't feel like that like i'll talk to anyone i'll communicate with you as long as you're respectful all right as long as you're being respectful and the conversation actually makes sense and it's not garbage i'll talk to you i don't care if you're sitting on the street and i'm walking by and you tell me something that makes sense i'll stand up i'll listen and i'll have a conversation with you all right so sometimes it's really good to humble yourself it's really good to just remain humble. You learn to listen, understand the people. All these ties into being humble. All right? 
so that's what i would tell little janelle younger janelle to avoid some of the mistakes that i've made in life and i'm so glad that i have gone through I, i'm so glad that i have experienced what i've experienced so i can sit here now and make this video to share with you guys so that i can teach you a little bit a little bit so guys please share this video if you have a young daughter a young sister or just someone who you think this video would be of great benefit to please share this video and once again i want to say thank you guys for sticking around for spending some time with me and i'll see you guys in the next video peace